King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video showing you how to uh, basically update to EI22 if you are rooted and running a ROM. It doesn't matter if your ROM's ext 4 or RFS, you don't need to convert your file system with this method. So this will be the latest method to update to EI22 if you're rooted and is the method I'd recommend if you're rooted. Um, it's going to put you on stock uh, DX EI22. I would highly recommend doing this if you are currently rooted. So right now I'm rooted and have Clockwork Mod on EI22, but it's just stock EI22, so I'm not running the DX ROM. But anyways, what you're gonna need, so it doesn't matter if you're on Syndicate, ECO5, or any other ROM, you can still flash this through Clockwork Mod. So what you're gonna need to do is click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this site, thanks to XBTX for this. As you can see, pre-rooted. Uh, GEDX, it has a GPS fix, fix as well, so GPS will work. Um, but just click on this link right here, this Mediafire link right there, and once you click on it, you'll download, it'll look like this, ACS EI22 right there, that zip file. Just make sure you get that zip file on your SD card. So transfer that zip file over to your SD card. Once it's on your SD card, go ahead and go back to your phone. Um, so make sure you come back to your phone and you can just power it on off. So as I said, you do need Clockwork Mod. So power off your phone. Right now your phone has powered off, you're gonna to need to boot into Clockwork. To do so, volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time. Just press and hold it down. I press and hold till the bottom back like keys light up, like so. And there you go, now you are in recovery. Um, I do have ACS recovery, as you can see, I do recommend upgrading if you haven't already. But anyways, now to flash this uh, DX ROM, all you're going to have to do is go down to install zip from SD card, select it. I'm going to do a pre-ROM install wipe, select that, and hit yes. What it's going to do is wipe your data, your cache, and your Dalvik cache. So it's going to go ahead and wipe your data cache and Dalvik cache. So let it run through that real quick, and now hit choose zip from SD card, and navigate to wherever you put that, uh, basically that uh, DX ROM. So go ahead and find it on your um, on your SD card, shouldn't, uh, wherever you put it, it does not matter if you put it in a folder or wherever you put it, but it should be uh, pre-rooted DX GPS fix dot zip. So select that and hit yes, install. So it's gonna go ahead and run through the uh, install script. It might take a little while since it's a full ROM install, so be patient with it. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. Once that's done, all you're gonna have to do is just hit uh, the back arrow on your phone and then select reboot system now. So go ahead and just reboot your phone. Once it reboots, you should uh, have basically Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread EI22 on your Epic. It'll be uh, stock, stock DX. So as you can see, it includes new Bernal, uh, the new Bernal kernel. Uh, so very nice there. It does add some added tweaks for you. Just a heads up, your boot animation will have a gleaming Android across it. So in case you were wondering, just a heads up. All right, now that my phone has booted up, I'm running Gingerbread EI22 on my Epic. As you can see, everything uh, looks all everything looks good. I do have super user in my app drawer right there, so I am rooted now on EI22. Uh, go to menu, settings, scroll down, about phone, and uh, as you can see right there, build number EI22, uh, baseband version. Uh, my baseband version says ECO5, but I will do a video showing you how to update your modem. I'll post that in the description of the video in case you would like to update your modem to EI22, which I do recommend. So just a heads up there. But anyways, if you do run into any problems, have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. Um, I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe as well for future videos and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description of the video, as I said. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.